Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidstow. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats. So today I'm going to talk about donating photo gear. People contact me all the time and say, hey, I have photo gear to donate. And if that's you, I want to give you some tips on what to do with old photo gear. One is you can sell it. You can sell it to a dealer like KEH and any of the other resellers, MP, MPB, they will buy your cameras and they will give you about 40 to 50% of the value so that they can check it out and they can resell it. And if you want to get rid of cameras now, that's one way to do it at somewhat of a cut price. I would say if you had a Leica that was worth $2,000 and MPB or KEH were going to give you five a thousand dollars for it half the price why not just offer it locally for sale to the local film community if it's a film like a worth two thousand dollars and you're only going to get a thousand from a dealer why not just cut the dealer out offer it at the same condition saying it may be untested that's the way they would buy it offer it at their price to somebody who can get it now locally today at the bargain price that they can't afford to buy it off of the retail distributor. That's one way to also sell your gear. You can also, if it's stuff that maybe nobody really seems to want, it's old darkroom gear, which is difficult to get a person interested to take. If it's older point and shoot cameras or not very special, digital cameras or film cameras that are pretty much introductory cameras and you can't seem to find anybody interested, look up your town and art recyclers, art supply recyclers. There's one in Denver called Recreative. There is one in Colorado Springs called Who Gives a Scrap. There's a lot of places that have used art supplies that are available to people to bring the, those things in as a, it's almost like a thrift store for art supplies and then they resell them. Look and see if there's one of those you could take it to. That's one way also to get it into artists' hands through a local donation center. You can also test it yourself and put it on eBay and get the most for it, but you have to be careful because eBay allows returns. Even if you say no returns, they will allow returns. And eBay takes 10, 20% based on how much it sells for. It seems like it's about 20% these days with the, they even charge a percentage of shipping. If you are paying those fees, you have to make sure that it's worth your while to list it, photograph it, check it out and do all that. And if you do that, then you can get the price that KEH or MPB was going to get. But if you don't want to do that, how about finding a local photographer? reaching out to the local photography community and find out there's a photo club, find out if there are meetups that photographers attend and ask them and say, would anybody be interested in this? I'd be willing to sell it at the price that dealers would pay. And they'll just buy it then and they'll have new gear that they can work with. They could never maybe afford, but because of your ability to bring it to them and you're all local, you get to bring it to local photographers who get to work with that. So those are some possibilities. And if you have cameras that are in the Denver Boulder area, I teach at a high school. I use digital cameras and film cameras. You can always contact me and see if it's anything we can use. But the goal is find photographers, get them in the hands of students, get them in the hands of people who are trying to, you know, work out what gear they need, especially if it's gear that's unused and unwanted. Find somebody who will use it. You can get maximum money if you do the sale route, like an eBay, but you will have to do some work and you will have to guarantee a return if you, and you'll have to ship. But if you do locally, take it to a donation center, sell it to individuals, you can do that. And a photo club is a safe place to bring your gear and say, hey, is anybody interested in this? They're all photographers. You might find an interest. And if some things just aren't of interest, if it's an old Nikon D40, which is like a very early Nikon DSLR that really doesn't have a great megapixel 
count and isn't of much interest to people, it may not have much value, but it still might be good for a donation center or for somebody starting absolutely out to work with and have something to at least make a picture with. All right, that's today's photography talk. Hey, if you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters. I appreciate you. I'll be back next week and we'll talk more photography. As always, here's the good light.